It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Republicans are pretty much infamous for going out to video games long since I was a kid. I can remember really clearly the controversy for games such as Doom and Mortal Kombat, where basically Republicans want to get those games banned. However, reopen the ESRB for ratings. Of course, you have E for everyone, E10 for ages 10 and up, T for teenagers, and M for mature to indicate to parents about the rating for games. And also, Donald Trump had recently attacked video games too, and he says that video games are the cause for violence on the streets. Republicans going after video games is not anything new for me. And so for this video, I'm going to talk about a new bill proposed about video game streaming because apparently this guy, this Republican senator, want to actually make people go to jail, have a felony, for playing video games on services like Twitch. A bill to amend Title 18, United States Code, to prohibit enlisted digital transmission services. This act may be cited as Protecting Lawful Streaming Act of 2020. Section 2, Enlisted Digital Transmission Services, Amendment, Chapter 113 of Chapter 18, United States Code, is amended by asserting after Section 2319B the following. Definitions in the sections the term auto visual work, computer programs, copy, copyright owner, digital transmission, financial gain, motion pictures, motion pictures exhibition facility, performance to perform work publicly, sound recording, and transmission have the meanings given to those in section 101 of Title 17. The term digital transmission service means a service that has the primary purpose of publicly performing works by digital transmission. The terms publicly perform and public performance refer to exclusive rights of a copyright owner under paragraphs 4 and 6 of section 106 relating to exclusive rights and copyright works of Title 17. The term work being prepared for commercial public performance means a computer program, a musical work, a motion picture, or other audiovisual work, or a sound recording if, at the time, of authorized public performance. The copyright owner has a reasonable expectation of commercial public performance in the copies and funnel records of the work that has not been commercially public in the United States by or with the authorization of the copyright owner, or b a motion picture if, at the time of authorized public performance, the motion pictures have been available for viewing in a motion picture expedition facility and has not been available in copies for sale to the general public in the United States. By or with the authorization of the copyright owner more than 24 hours before the unauthorized public performance. It shall be unlawful to a willfully and for purposes of commercial advantage or private financial gains offer or provide to the public a digital transmission service that is primarily designed or provided for the purpose of publicly transforming works protected under Title 17 by means of a digital transformation without the authority of the copyright owner or law has no commercial ability significant purpose other than to use to publicly perform works protected under Title 17 by a means of a digital transmission without the authority of the copyright owner or the law or is intentionally marketed by or at the direction of that person to promote its use and publicly performing works protected under Title 17 by means of a digital transmission without the authority of a copyright owner or the law. Penalties. Any person who violates subsection B shall be addition to any penalty provided for under Title 17 or under other law is to be fined under this title and prison not more than three years or both. You heard that right, folks. If this thing were to be passed right now, it would actually be an attack on fair use as we know it. Like sites such as Twitch would cease to exist, and so this thing must not pass in the slightest. And of course, I have like the information for you guys to go and contact people in Congress and so on, but like this is so ridiculous, this whole entire law. Because back in the 70s, we had a law 
that was called the United States Fair Use Act. It basically protects the idea of using copyright work for transformation uses. For example, stuff like parodies are like fair use, stuff like, you know, making some sort of review is fair use, or maybe like gameplay and commentary is fair use, and using clips for movies to review them is fair use. And so naturally this whole entire bill, if that were to be passed, would actually destroy fair use as we know it today. Because the idea of fair use is that you don't need to have the permission of any type of person to use the copyright work to review stuff. Because the idea of fair use is to make the work transformative. And so this idea that is being proposed right now is like ridiculous right now. Now the guy who wants to attack fair use is a guy named Tom Tolisid. And he has like a lot of donors from like media companies. So it's no surprise that he actually want to attack it. Of course, he got like $2,000 from Comcast and by NBC Universal. He has freaking $16,000 plus dollars from a chapter communications incorporated. He has like money from AT&T, the Motion Picture Association of America. He also has like Sony Pictures as of course a contributor. He has Fox News, like any type of media corporation that list right there. You can actually see right for yourself that he's actually being funded by media companies to go against this. I personally have no idea why so many freaking Republicans are just so outdated when it comes down to the issue of video games. They've been fighting against video games since the 90s. They've been fighting against like, you know, record players and demonic music for rock and roll. They've been fighting against Pokemon. They've been fighting against Harry Potter. Like, they're so out of touch and so boomer-like it's not even funny about the stuff that they try to go against. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.